This lesson is about medians, altitudes, and perpendicular bisectors. Okay, first let's talk about medians. The median of a triangle is a segment that goes from the vertex of one of the angles of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So because there's three angles and three opposite sides in a triangle, there are three medians. So if I go to the midpoint of the opposite side, coming out of the angle, that's one median. Uh, another median, if I go from this top angle, is I would go to the midpoint of the opposite side. And I would say that show that that's a midpoint like this. And then out of the third angle, again, I go to the midpoint of the opposite side. So that shows that there's a median coming out of every, uh, every angle of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. And the way I remember this is median starts with M. So I think median, midpoint. Median goes to midpoint. Okay. And one thing you'll notice, which we'll talk about later in the class, is that all three of those medians intersect in at one point in the middle. Okay, next, the altitudes. The altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular segment that goes from the vertex um, to um, the opposite side, and it hits the opposite side at a perpendicular. So if I had to take a triangle and I'm going to hit a side at a perpendicular, let's just say I'm looking at, I lay one side horizontal to me from the bottom, and it looks like a mountain, and uh, I would climb to the top, and if I dropped a rock straight down, it would fall perpendicular to the ground. So that's an altitude of that angle. Now, because there's three angles, every triangle has three altitudes. So the altitude of the next angle, if I go this way, is going to hit at a 90 degree angle to that side. And then lastly, coming out of the third angle and hitting perpendicular to the base would be the third one. And, you know, just like with the medians, you'll notice, and we'll talk about later on in this course, what that is, where all, the, all three of them intersect. But altitude um, is perpendicular. It hits the, uh, it hits perpendicular to the opposite side. Uh, so it's a segment coming out of a vertex, and every triangle has three altitudes. So here's something else about altitudes. An acute triangle with three acute angles, all the altitudes are inside the triangle. But when we have an obtuse um, angle, an obtuse triangle, let's look at what happens with uh, the altitudes. If I go to the obtuse angle itself and I draw an altitude, so I hit the opposite side at a perpendicular, looks like so, and it's inside the triangle, that altitude. But if I go up to the top angle, right up here at the top, and I want to hit the opposite side uh, at, an, at a perpendicular, I can't do that inside the triangle. So what we do is we just look at, we sort of dash out the imaginary line, like a little auxiliary line, to that side. And then, if we think about that, dropping the rock down, if I drop straight down, and hit it a perpendicular. I'm actually, the altitude is actually outside the triangle itself. And then if I look at the third angle down here and I want to draw a segment that's perpendicular to the opposite side, again, I cannot do that inside the triangle. So I take this line and dash it like so. Oops, bring it down. And then I can drop an altitude and hit it at a perpendicular, again, outside the triangle. So obtuse triangles, two of the altitudes are outside the triangle, and one is inside. Now, something kind of like that happens with right triangles. Um, once again, if I draw an altitude from the right angle out to the hypotenuse, and I hit that at a perpendicular, it's inside the triangle. But when I go up to the top angle up here, and I want to hit uh, the opposite side at a perpendicular, I notice I'm actually traveling down the side of the triangle. So the, one of the sides is an altitude. And the same with this third angle down here. If I want to go and hit the opposite side at a perpendicular, again, I actually travel right along the side of uh, the angle, so, uh, or of the triangle. 
So with right triangles, um, one of the altitudes is inside the triangle, and the other two are actually two of the legs of the right triangle. Okay, let, next let's talk about what a perpendicular bisector is. A perpendicular bisector does what its name says. It takes a segment, so I've got a segment here, and it bisects it. So it, a perpendicular bisector can be either a line, a ray, or a segment that passes through the midpoint of another segment and bisects it into two congruent segments. And, as promised, it hits it at a perpendicular. So it's both a bisector and it's a, a perpendicular line to the given segment. So there's a theorem about perpendicular bisectors. And it's that if you take any point, so I've got this red line here is uh, the perpendicular bisector of segment AB. So we show it passes through the midpoint and it's perpendicular. Well, if it is, then I can take any point. So maybe take a point here. Any point, anywhere on that perpendicular bisector. And it is always equidistant, uh, meaning equal distance from uh, the segment endpoints from A uh, and B. So if I want to measure the distance from that point to A and from that point to B, they are exactly the same distance. And that could go for any point on that perpendicular bisector. I could take a point here and measure the point, the distance to A and to B is exactly the same. So that's a theorem about um, every point on a perpendicular bisector being equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. Okay, another theorem involving equidistance is um, a theorem about angle bisectors. So if I put a green am angle bisector through the middle of this angle, uh, you already know that that divides this angle into two congruent smaller angles that are adjacent to each other. Well, if I pick a point anywhere on this angle bisector, um, it's exactly the same distance from both of the sides of the angle. So if I drop and I go perpendicular from here to um, to that, which is the shortest distance between a point and a line is, is a, hits a line perpendicular. If I take that distance and then I go and I hit this side, the shortest distance is going to be perpendicular. What it's saying is that that distance is the same as that distance. And that goes for any point on um, the angle bisector. So if I pick a different point, doesn't matter. If I hit this at a perpendicular, this distance if I hit that at a perpendicular, is equal to that distance. So the point is that every point on an, any angle bisector is always equidistant from the sides of the angle. And that is it.